Wisconsin Broadcasters Association Hall of Famer Bob Berry ruled Milwaukee's airwaves in the 60s and 70s. He spoke with countless musicians and celebrities over the years. Bob collected remarkable recordings of these encounters, which he's now sharing with the public. Here's Bob. I think we've all seen the television series Mission Impossible. Martin Landau and Barbara Bain had leading roles in that series. Martin was also in Alfred Hitchcock's North by Northwest, Cleopatra, and The Greatest Story Ever Told. He won an Oscar, Golden Globe, and Screen Actors Guild Award for his role as Bella Lugosi in Ed Wood. He was the head of the Actors Studio, beating out Steve McQueen and 500 others who applied. Martin acted alongside his wife, Barbara Bain, in Mission Impossible. Barbara won three Emmys for her performance in the show. The couple returned to television in the 70s with a British science fiction series, which they'll talk about in this podcast. Yes? Yes, Martin Landau, please? Yes, this is Martin Landau. Go ahead. Bob Berry, WRKY Radio in Milwaukee. Yes, how are you, Bob? Good, how are you? All right. You got a couple seconds to talk with us? Well, we're, yeah, we're just kind of heading on to the airport, but I've got a couple of seconds, sure. Oh, is that right? You're uh, leaving this morning, huh? We're leaving this morning, that's right, for California. What, uh, what are you doing in Chicago? Well, we visited my wife's family and just spent a couple of days saying hello. We've been in Europe for two years. We've oh, been doing a new television series for Lou Grade, uh, a new space show, and we, uh, we spent two years in London and stopped in New York on the way back and stopped in Chicago, and we're heading back to California today. Jeez, will we be able to see this uh, program? Will it be shown yes, in the United States? Well, it's going to be, interestingly, it's going to be in 101 countries come September. Oh, that's great. And uh, it'll be all over the states, and you'll see it in Milwaukee. I, I don't know the station name there, but... Uh, what is the name of the program, Mike? It's called Space 1999. Uh-huh. And uh, will, will uh, Barbara Bain be in it? Your wife My be in it, too? My wife is in it, and Barry Morse is in it. Hey, great. Uh, you know, we really enjoyed the uh, Mission Impossible. That You did such a fantastic... Uh, well, Barbara, too, of course, uh, uh, on that program, and... Uh, uh, we're, you know, really looking forward, and that's that was the reason, main reason for my call to see when we're going to see you again. <laughs> we'll be seeing uh, in uh, September. That's terrific. It'll be on in September. That's uh, what. Uh, tell us a little bit about the program. Uh, are, you, are we on the air now? Yes, right. Oh, we are. Right. Uh, well, the program's quite interesting in that uh, it takes place 25 years into the future, so we're not that far removed from today. In other words, my character was born in the 50s. Barry's character was born in the uh, 40s. He was a war baby, and. Uh, the moon is an international base composed of 300 people, and uh, they send me up as commander to launch a new probe, and I find out that they're burying, uh, the Earth is burying a lot of nuclear waste on the back side of the moon. I find out that people are coming down with some kind of radiation sickness, and I try and stop it. And there's a little bit of political hanky-pank before we can really get things moving. And there's a massive explosion, and the moon goes shooting out of orbit. Mm. And uh, 300 people virtually, the ability umbilical cord with the Earth is cut and severed, and we go shooting off into space. The last contact we have with the Earth are tidal waves and uh, earthquakes. We really don't know what, what's happened on Earth, whether or not the Earth survived without the Moon's influence on it. And our week-to-week search is for a place to live, because we have 300 people on a self-supporting base, which is hurtling through space, and we have no control over its path. That sounds like it's going to be a good one. Uh, we, it's, I must say it's probably the best produced show I've ever seen on television in, in, in that the special effects are just dynamite. They're beautiful. They're like, they, did you ever see 2001? The, yes, uh, Space well, Odyssey. Right. These special effects are uh, probably the best I've ever seen since then. Mm. And, uh, well, that's great. Where, where did you shoot it exactly? We shot it at Pinewood Studios uh, just outside of London. Lou Grade, who, uh, who you know, kind of runs <laughs> entertainment in England, produced the show. And uh, it's, again, the most expensive television series ever made. Should I uh, call Barbara to Yeah, that'd be great. All right. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Barbara. How are you? Fine. You know, I was just telling uh, Martin that uh, we really uh, loved Mission Impossible so much, and we were wondering whatever happened to you. So when I found out you were in Chicago, uh, we had to find out when we were going to see you on television we're again. We're going to see us sooner than you can imagine. That's right. Beginning of the fall season. We're going to be sort of all over the place again. Boy, that's terrific. Yeah, with an exciting show. We think the people are going to like it. We think we've done a really good thing. It's uh, uh, 20 months in England, and we're excited now to see the, you know, the response as it comes out over the air. So we're, we're, you know, we spent this time shooting it. Now it's time for the folks out front to see it. Sure. What part are you going to play in it? I play the a doctor 
who's in charge of not only the medical aspects of the entire moon base alpha, but the whole idea of life sustaining. In other words, I'm really in charge of life. <laughs> Which is kind of exciting. All, all, everything attendant to that, everything that's related to sustaining life in this rather unusual situation, which was unanticipated. I don't know if Marty was able to explain how that yes, he did, huh? uh, thing jumps off. Uh, do you have any children, Bert? Yes, we do. We do they? two girls, and they've been with us the whole time. Oh. And they go with us everywhere. That's great. How did they uh, like uh, London? They loved it. It they was a, it. A, a marvelous experience. They were a little, you know, a bit of... Uh, trepidation in the bones as we headed across there, not knowing what to expect, and uh, really just um, enjoyed many, many things that they didn't know they'd ever come into their lives before. You oh, know? I think that's probably the best education uh, children can get, is Absolutely traveling like that. Absolutely fabulous. You know, our yeah. daughter's class that was studying Macbeth were up in Stratford watching Nicole Williams do it. Oh, you know, yeah. The little one fantastic. who was studying Egypt was at the British Museum looking at, um, just all kinds of things. Right. It was yeah. very, very exciting. You catch us, you know, half out the door. We're just, we're, we're en route to Los Angeles. Yeah, gee, I'm glad I called just in time. Yeah, it's amazing, because uh, we're just locking up the last suitcase, you know, and nothing's fitting in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That happens to you, too. Of course. <laughs> Thank you very much for talking with us. I hope we didn't hold you up too long here. Not at all. Have a good flight. Thank you. And uh, good luck with the show. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Right. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Barry. Thank you for listening to Bob Berry's Unearthed Interviews. Be sure to subscribe and rate our podcast on iTunes or wherever you find your podcasts. You can find all the episodes at wisconsinbroadcastingmuseum.org. Check out Bob Berry's book, Rock and Roll Radio Milwaukee. Book sale proceeds support Angels Kids Fund and Donate Life Wisconsin. The preceding program was made possible by a generous contribution from Terry Bond.